transition. Oh! Oh! To be Duncan, yes! He says, Duncan, Duncan, baby! Going into the summer of 1990, 1991, I knew nothing about Tim Duncan, nothing. I was in my office one day, and, and uh, Chris King, uh, who had just been drafted by the NBA, I think it was Portland at the time, uh, came walking by and I said, Chris, what are you going to do for the summer? And he said, I'm going to uh, down with a group of NBA draftees and uh, island hop around and do some clinics and meet some kids and try to lift them and, and introduce them to basketball. And Alonzo Morning's going and, and we're going to have a great time. I said, well, come back by when you get through. Let me know how things go. So later, if you kind of fast forward, you go to September and here comes Chris down that same hall. I said, Chris, come in and tell me how your trip went. He said, Coach, it was great. I said, and I was just rhetorically throwing it out. Uh, uh, did you see anybody that I should be interested in as a player? He said, Coach, there was one player. Who was it? I don't know his name. Uh, what island were you on? I don't know what island I was on. Uh, what school did he go? I don't know what school he went to. Uh, well, how big was he? He said, well, he was probably 6'8". Is he big? No, he was kind of weak, but he had a good game. And he was the only player that stood up to Lonzo. And I don't mean he could beat his coach, but he, he was pretty good. I went down and watched him play one day. And I came back and I told my staff, this kid is going to be a very good player, but not next year. Uh, we're going to have to bring him in, put some meat on his bones, some strength. Uh, we're going to have to let him develop at his own uh, pace. Most likely, uh, he's going to be a richer uh, this first year. And uh, nothing could be further from the truth. Duncan has just been phenomenal.